At least this one has an options menu. Yeah, but it doesn't have, like, any volume controls, so I had to go to the mixer and do that. You know what? I'm gonna turn on the screen effects. I'm gonna autoplay the voiceovers, the parents' voiceovers, subtitle the parents. <laughs> I want the full experience. Oh, oh man, I can't wait to play version 1.31 of Steam. So, uh, this is Xeno Clash. We play as Father Mother. No need to come here as we have our full staff looking for her. You would oh, Jesus, he actually did it. Dr. Henry Hummer, superintendent of the camp. Whoa. <laughs> That's a nice JPEG of a hand. That's default aerial text! That's my favorite. Wait, how did we... How did we open that door before the one... No, okay. We may need a search team to go find the Don't ask team. questions. Nobody's here. <laughs> need a search team to go find the search team! Wow. This <laughs> doesn't look out of place. The 3D model on the... Ugh. It's like it's coming right out of the screen at me. Holy shit! That shadow! <laughs> I would like to remind you at this point that the graphics are set to medium. <laughs> or as they were me called earlier, in the uh, menu, good. <laughs> and as they were called in the options menu, real-time shadows. Oops! Are there actually newspapers called Haunting Shadows, Shadow People, and Girl Missing? Or they d uh, did they d just not understand that that's where the name of the paper should go? Also, that Girl Missing picture looks an awful lot like this painting. Damn. You've been stymied by a partially open door. And what appear to be Christmas tree shadows along the side of it. Um, I don't know, we don't... Uh-oh. It's our greatest hazard yet. That picture again? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Uh... Excuse me? Papa book. It's Pee-wee's Playhouse. What the... <laughs> Where am I? I'm not supposed to be. Did we find out this is a good word? <laughs> yeah, okay. Gee, you think? That's the journal? I'm lying awake in bed, my neck sore from sleeping on one pillow. Wait, Who well, has a journal with a face on it? Why is it doing voiceover? There's nothing here. My sleep medicine has worn off, and I'm once again a prisoner to my Because you have autoplay on voiceover, I remember? I might as well start writing... Okay. <laughs> what? What? Hold on. Let's let's leave this. I regret to inform you that you're not a happy face. Wait, why did it he got that? you? It showed the telegram from the what beginning. The... Oh you know, just to no. Remind you. Oh no, I think I've seen this game before. Wait, what did I miss? Like from? Oh, I gotta get Middle. all these fucking pages. No, I think I saw it, like, on fucking, you know, the YouTubers I watch. They weren't particularly scared that's, by this either. But... Strong. The nails aren't even going into it properly. It's not that strong. We need a crowbar, clearly. That, to, like, that doesn't even forward. look like it's wedged no. into the wall. No, we need an axe. That's what we need. Oh, well, never gonna... mind. We don't need to see the He's credits gonna... now. He's got a board with a nail in it. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, cool. Why? <laughs> hey. Well, Game Mechanics re recommends this game in its Steam review. Oh. Thumbs up. Was this a was this a was this just a room he just placed the credits in so, so that way he just has somewhere to put them? I fucking called it. Wait, the credits. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hear Johnny this. So does that mean if you select the credits and the options, do you just go in that room? Hmm. Havoc's this is not. Hey, that thing of that doll falling over was actually turned pretty. Was actually pretty cool. 
Yeah, but we needed an axe for one wooden board that was barely attached to the <laughs> fucking door. <laughs> it wasn't even nailed in. This game's giving me a uh, stroke. Wait! Wait, hold- <laughs> what? Sh shadows do not work this way. So I'm, I'm kind of curious. Asylum? Why, why did the smiling ghost get you earlier, but it didn't get you now? Like, you've been wandering around not knowing what to do for a while? That's how most of these games usually go. You just because my flashlight is. Oh, it's doing that spooky dim. So was the toilet trying to flush itself back there, or what? <laughs> eh? Well, old asylum, I guess. Hmm. Got this all the pieces of paper. Ren. They've used the same blood spot splatter texture. Over and yeah. over again. Oh, you you gotta reuse stuff that. over and Come over on. in games. You gotta reuse over things over and over in games. That's how you save on space. So, uh, this is allegedly based on a true story. Mm-hmm. How? <laughs> Good question. You know, if you're gonna do, like, the whole, uh, you know, haunted asylum trope for, like, the millionth time, at least do something interesting with it, because there's several other games that do it way better. So I have no idea what we're supposed to do now. Maybe you're meant to read the journal or something? But when he did, he got Correct. captured by the there. Halloween ghost. There, yeah, but he has journal. pages now, you know? <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of fucking text. So is this a Maybe collect it's... the pages game? Yes. Oh, great. Hey. We haven't seen those. I was gonna say, if it isn't red, maybe it's Stimpy. The fuck kind of a name for a spooky figure is the Hatman, anyway? Something that you use to either dodge copyright or only do because you couldn't do, uh, do anything else. It'd probably be scary if it was like the Fedora neckbeard guy. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think I actually saw him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Who the... the hell is this thing supposed to be? Oh, hey, he's just following you. Right, real slowly. Hi, hi, not slender, man. <laughs> His fucking smile is the stupidest shit. Or maybe it's like your flashlight fucks up or something? I don't know. <laughs> what? Did he get you? No! This. Um. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember seeing that on the lower floor. Well, this is what happens when you build above, like, a Mortal Kombat pit, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're doing the uh, beginning of the facility level on Goldeneye. Does that mean we get to drop down into a toilet stall and have to kill someone? Possibly. God. This is just annoying now. This place is really messed up. I go down one hall, backtrack, and everything has changed. If this is a maze, <sighs> then I have no idea which way is forward. Oh, really? Is that what you had to do? Yeah. Just call me Muscles. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, I'm not right. calling you Muscles. <laughs> Wait. Okay, Danny, you're wrong. Now we're not going to go back to the beginning. Because, uh... Hooray! There is this TV, oh, arbitrary they decided TV. to change the font a little bit from Ariel. He was so close, I heard his groan. Wait, After he I left, heard his I groan? The what? The down has a huge hole in it. Something happened. The hallway with huh. a hole in it now has a board across it. It's like the wall yeah, just crumbled. Yeah, because you pried it off. Or somebody made it crumble. Doesn't he know that I already challenged death and won? Life is conscious of- Oh no, we, we gotta figure out a way to beat the hat man. Uh, we knock his hat off? <laughs> yes. We call his hat stupid and he cries. You are done enough. What? This looks like it would be useful. Mm. 
What the fuck did you pick up? Just like a, a random button. button? I picked up a button. I was gonna say, I thought you picked up a fuse, but okay. Help me. The fuck? Oh, that was the most bored sounding help me I've ever heard. <laughs> help me. Help, help me. <laughs> Help me, mate. I swear on me, mom. This is messed up. I just wandered in what has to be the electroshock room, and there's somebody in there still getting treated and no way to turn it off. That is so wrong. Maybe that's what the hat man wants me for. A new person of charbroil for all of eternity. Well, that's not me. Wait, was that cooked person supposed to be, like, from electroshock th therapy? Yeah, apparently. Not me. That's not how elect- whatever. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Based on a true story. The story of someone who played Outlast and wanted to make a game too. Except make oh. it way less interesting. And Where Slender Man. Are you? Stop talking to me, random person. Seventy nine P. Where are that, you? Is that how much the game is? Yeah. Wait, what? So it's like what? <laughs> That's dollar twenty-five, maybe. Help me. Was she just like gliding along the ground? Yes, she was ice skating. Or she has those shoes with like the oh, with, like, the, the plate and the yeah, the Healy things. Whatever. Oh, uh, it's like, what, what can you do to make make it even less drab or more drab? Oh, I know, underground pipe sewer. sewer place with an old radio okay Ugh. that old radio i've seen at least eight of those wait why was there an x-ray thing down oh, here oh it's healy girl oh wait maybe the twist is that it's your daughter or something yeah because you were looking for her and whatever or maybe it's a futurama thing like we are our own daughter ah uh. also yeah, the board sounding help me is coming from Healy Girl. Oh. So does she want help or does she not want help? help Her tone me. is really I... giving me conflicted opinions. Help me, I can't stop healing. <laughs> the Healy's Don't won't stop come off, they're too tight. The healing. <laughs> Hold on to my feelings. Oh. Uh. Oh, that was a hammer? I thought it was a push broom. <laughs> <laughs> Road down the elevator since I don't there was use no tools option. that much. I'm not sure so. how many Wait, floors it was. your favorite there is the morgue? Rooms here. My favorite is the morgue. We're running Bang. out of inventory space. I'm hoping that means that the game is almost over. A few moments later. Um... Missing texture. I don't think they ever thought anybody would come this far into the game. So this is the you're still playing this part of the game? Maybe. One hour later. That's a very unique death screen to what we've something. seen before. You're gonna run into her and see if it doesn't work. Apparently not. Oh yeah, I forgot what I was gonna look up. This game came out in 2014. Yeah, and the description for it says scariest game of 2014 or something like that. Wait, didn't the PT de demo come out that year? Yeah. PT PT released exclusively and for the PS4 exclusively on 12 August 2014. Yeah, so I mean, I know that's technically like just a teaser demo whatever, but... Hmm... And we got to the yawning. That's my review. Dracula. Overcast Walden and the Werewolf came out in 2014. <laughs> yeah. We always have to reference Walden and the Werewolf at, at some point during It's these. just on the list. <laughs> Pineview Drive came out in 2014. See, I told you. <laughs> um, Five Nights at Freddy's came out in 2014. Oh, uh, uh, well. I don't know, it's not really scary, but it's in the horror thing. Help me. No, no, no. Where this isn't. You? This is a game where we're different. We're the wrong. 
we're in the wrong on this one apparently. Because 70% of the 2,539 user oh, reviews man. for Hatman Shadow World found it mostly positive. Do people just eat up anything that's like slender or what? Yes. So you were being haunted it came out in 2014. That game's kind of scary. Um, Outlast Whistleblower came out in 2014. They Breathe came out in 2014. Uh, Among the Sleep came out. H hey, Alien Isolation came out in 2014. No, this, but this, but this is, you know, but this game, you know, <laughs> clearly the scariest game of 2014, <laughs> not Alien Isolation or Five Nights at Freddy's or you know or any well-known game that came out that year, that was that actually scared yeah, the people. E the or... Evil Within came out in 2014 too, which you know, more action even. Well, than... well, it's still like a survival horror type yeah. of game. One Night Deadline came out on 23rd of December 2014. Passing Van Pine View Forest came out in 2014. <laughs> 2014 was a bad year. Six hours later. I'm so bored. I'm so sorry. Why is Echo the Dolphin listed under horror? I... Because Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> Help me. It's kind of starting to hurt to look at this. Quit and play something else. Help me. She sounds even more bored now. I actually kind of don't feel so good. You getting nauseous? Yeah, I usually don't with games like these, but... Something about this... Okay. I have to stop. That's fine, man. <laughs> like, tying you to the chair and Jesus. making you... You know, this part of the game is like... Legitimately, really bad because it's like everything just looks the same, and it's so easy to not know where to go. So I don't blame you for for like getting just really just sick of like not wanting to do that bit over and over and over again. Actually, that's partially a lie. I'm also writing a review. Just from seeing that, do you have a general idea of what the true story about that ward was? Some kids walked around that abandoned asylum and got really fucking bored and went, Hey, this would be a good creepypasta. I'm going to assume that what you said was it's based on a an asylum in South... I think it was South Dakota where they would take mentally ill Indians who weren't actually mentally ill and a bunch of them died under mysterious circumstances. Oh, that lovely. is what you said, right? I guess. <laughs> because that came across so well in what we just saw. 